In today's session, let's understand custom cell formatting. Look at the first example. Here, inventory holding period has been calculated and represented in a particular way. The result is a numerical value. However, just for the sake of display, days has been added as a suffix to the number. How do you know this? Just go to the formula bar. Notice that 30 is a number which is represented there. However, in the cell, you will see 30 days. Whereas, the underlying number is used for all the calculations. How do you add a suffix or a prefix to a number without disturbing the underlying number? In the sense that you are adding the suffix or prefix just for the sake of display. Look at the third example as well. You have rupees as the prefix. However, underlying value is still a number. How do you achieve this? You can do this with the custom cell formatting option of Excel. On any cell or a group of cells, just do Ctrl 1. Or you can right click on the cell and you will see format cells as the option. Once you go to format cells, go to the first tab there, which is the number formatting options. In this tab, go to the very last part, which is custom formats. Here, you just have to specify the format for a given cell and that will be considered later on just for the sake of display. So here, you have to specify the suffix or prefix text in double quotes and of course, suffix has to follow the number format or a prefix has to precede the number format. So how do we represent this? In the first example, we have to specify the inventory holding period in terms of days. So how do we do this? We specify the number format with a zero and then follow this with days in double quotes. We have to write this code in the custom formatting option. And then you will notice that the number just is combined with the suffix. In the second example, all we need to do is specify rupees as a prefix before the number format. And what we'll get? We'll have the number value with a prefix rupees and what you are representing is a currency. So this is the way you can customize the formats of a cell with the custom formatting options.